Hey Taurus, how's it going? I hope you're having an amazing week. This is going to be your current situation. What is currently going on in your life? Um, I'm going to pull cards of timing, or no, a cards for an outcome. I'm sorry, cards for an outcome because it's the current situation. So what is about to occur, the outcome will come within the near future, the f next few weeks ahead. Um, always take what resonates and always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity. Um, never try to force it to fit and it's not going to be 100% on point for each and every one of you. All right, Taurus, anytime you would like me to tune in to adjust your energy, you can click on the link below. It's in the description box of each reading and it'll take you over to my Etsy shop. There I offer a variety of readings. If you ever see that one is sold out, just message seller, shop owner, and I will refill it for my YouTube people. All right, for my Tauruses. Current situation. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done that done so already. I do monthly giveaways, usually two or more personal readings. At one time I did 12 in one month. I'll never do that again because I was a little overwhelmed with that and my life, my full-time job. But this month will be two free personal love readings. So you just need to be a subscriber and for this month leave a vacation emoji down below. Whatever you view vacation as um, that your emojis in your phone allow you to leave. Okay. And then at the end of the month, like I do each and every month, I will be contacting those people through YouTube initially. Um, but I'll always remind you at the end of the month to be checking your notifications. All right. For my Taurus's spirit, current situation. I feel like there's about to be growth that leads you to wish granted. All right, and it's definitely faded. Look at this, transform, change, total alignment with your higher self. This is the best energy you could be in. Huge growth within yourself, possible spiritual awakening, but a big transformation. And it leads you to wish fulfillment, dreams coming true. You've planted the seeds. You've done the work, Taurus. And it's now time for you to receive moon energy. So possibly by the new moon. I forget when that is. But it's like within... Hold on. Let me check the new moon date for June. New moon is June 18th. So we'll go with like June 18th possibly, but the full moon, new moon of July also. So we'll give it like a little bit of a time span. Manifest your dreams and desires. Release your fear. Things coming to light. Oh, what am I doing? That doesn't go there. All right. For my Taurus is spirit current situation. Look at this. Tick tock and soulmates. You are coming into a soulmate. This could be a new friend that you meet that you instinctively know that you've met this person in past lives. The two of you just get one another or it could be that romantic soulmate type love where you have known this person in past lives. And you're reconnecting in this lifetime. All right, spirit for my Tauruses. All right, we got two. So we'll take them both. Archangel Ambriel. Patron of psychics and students. It says, stay positive. I clear mental fog and doubt and bring psychic insight. To your awareness for spiritual and scholastic benefit. This is, you know, reaching, you know, meditating, praying to Archangel Ambriel for clarity. 
to get it out of your mind, to stay focused and have that clarity in your, your thought process and in your decisions that you're about to make. And Archangel Michael showing up. Amazing. So we have Leo energy here. Leo and Gemini energy. And we also have your energy, Taurus. Right there. Gemini. Oh, no. No, I, I apologize. We don't. We have Gemini energy here. I thought this was an energy of Taurus, too. And then we have Leo energy here. Defender and protector of Earth. Trust. Call on me when you feel afraid, lonely, and in despair. Or are in need of courage and protection. See all that amethyst energy right there? It's like a lot of healing and a lot of growing. I'm definitely picking up on air energy with the eagle there. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. All right, let's get into your reading. bottom of the deck equal give and take there might be somebody that you know comes towards you and gives you a gift is interested in you wants to break the ice but this relationship whether it be a friend or a lover that's coming into your life it's going to be an equal give and take it's going to be reciprocated what you put out you will receive back what is the current energy current situation for Taurus. Ace of Wands, passionate new beginning. I definitely feel with the Page of Swords at the bottom of the deck, somebody's keeping an eye on you. They're watching you from afar. They're intrigued by you. And there's going to be a passionate new beginning. What is helping the current situation or blocking it? Seven of, look at this. You are about to receive. First of all, we have seven, seven, seven here, guys. Um, but with the seven of swords, like I said, I feel someone is keeping their distance from you and has strong feelings for you. It's like everything you touch, Taurus, is gold. And this egg is about to crack and there's going to be blessings. This person is going to come towards you and the lights just flickered. This person is going to come towards you and be honest with you. They definitely have feelings of passion for you. What does the future hold, Spirit? For Taurus. Oh boy. Okay. The Emperor, the Sun, and the Three of Swords. You're overcoming heartbreak. You're overcoming serious despair. And this also could be past energy. With Transform there, you are your best energy. So you're showing up. You see how these energies resemble? It's like, you know your worth, Taurus. You know what you bring to a situation, whether it be friendship or love. You know what you bring. And it's like you're going to hold back just a little bit. You're going to let someone come towards you and do the work. Show me you can trust me. With Obviously not saying that. But it's like you're within yourself. You're like, show me what you got. Because I've, I am in tune with myself. No one's going to bring me down. So you're at this best point where you know what you bring. You've got that Midas touch. Now you're leaving the heartbreak in the past. You want better days ahead. But it's like you're moving a little bit slower because you, you want to see what somebody, is it going to be reciprocated? And it will be. All right, Spirit, what does Taurus need to embrace? The Seven of Wands. You've stood your ground. 
and you've put the fight in on your journey. We have 7777. Guys, so make sure you look up the meaning of 7777. Definitely a strong spiritual. And I don't know where my book is right now or I would bring that into this reading. Yeah, see, you're leaving. What you're letting go of is any negative energy. You're taking a leap of faith towards something completely brand new. Where it's going to be fair. It's going to be very exciting for you. And it's going to be a success. And with this Seven of Swords here, I just feel someone who has feelings for you is holding back. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Swords. Because there is a teardrop here. So it's almost like them within their own fear of coming forward, but they are. And it's going to feel like a wish fulfillment for you. And they are a soulmate. We have the King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. So we have water, air, we have everything. So take what resonates with your chart. But someone's coming in very quickly. They may have water and air in their chart. No more delays. They're breaking free. They see a future with you. They've thought about a future with you. Why is the devil here twice, Spirit? Yeah, somebody wants a brand new passionate beginning with you. And I, I, with the devil energy and the seven of swords, I feel that this person, for those of you that have dealt with them already, they weren't in the best energy. They really had to go through some healing. Spirit, clarify the Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Devil. The Seven of Swords, the Three of Swords, and the Devil. Yeah, see, there's a leveling up right here. You might have dealt with this person in like a younger, I don't want to say immature, but okay yeah more of a free spirit not ready for commitment might have kept their kept their options open wasn't ready to you know completely tell you how intrigued they were by you but there has definitely been a leveling up now they're coming in a leader and now they want a relationship They want union with you. All right. I got to tell you, for some of you, you might need to make a choice. Some of my Tauruses might be dealing with a water or fire sign. And then another energy comes into their life. So take it how it resonates. But I do feel for some of you, you might have a couple offers one existing, one coming. For those of you completely single, two coming. I need to make a big choice. But, like I said, you will intuitively know that soulmate connection. Frying pan. Troubles and accusations. Hmm. Might be, it might have been a hard ending with someone. Coming in as a page, they could have come in very fast, very heated. But that, you know, obviously pages and nights, they come in for the action, they come in for the attention, but not always ready for a commitment. And for some of you, this could be, like I said, a soulmate that's a friend that feels like home to you, that you're having a disagreement with. But I do feel there is going to be time for mending. Sunrise, exactly. 
there is going to be better days ahead. In however this resonates, you are getting a fresh start with this person. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. And one more for my Taurus spirit. The current situation. Yes, yeah, see, parting of the ways in either romance or business. This is definitely for some of you about mending. All right, we have A, I, U, Z, L, R, G, J, T, X, P, W, F, blank scrabble tile, and then the rest are repeats. All right, Taurus, always let me know how it resonates. Leave that vacation emoji down below, letting me know that you're interested in the free readings, free love readings this month. And like I said, the link to my description, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box. Head over there whenever you would like me to tune in to just your energy. I am sending you so much love and light. And I will be back for the weekend readings.